<laughs> Do you know anyone who starts wearing prom accessories? Well, I have a girlfriend who chooses her clothes according to her shoes and sometimes even according to her nail polish. Sounds weird, but it is very common. For my third speech, something similar happened to me. Before deciding the content of my speech, I decided the topic, which is yes. Yes, I am here. <laughs> anyway, after finding the topic, I needed to find the content in order to call the speech. Hmm, what will I tell you under the topic kiss? Firstly, I thought I could tell you the good effects of kissing on health. Maybe with some statistics, like people who kiss regularly live five years longer. Or kissing five minutes a day burns 50 calories. <laughs> Those are two statistics. But I thought that would be so boring. Secondly, I thought I could give you some tips about French kiss. <laughs> Not that you don't know, but maybe you would like to perfect your technique. <laughs> well, this one I liked it. But I thought it would be better to wait until the fifth speech, which focuses on body language. <laughs> <laughs> and since this was going to be my third speech, I needed to get to the point. So, I decided to tell you about another kind of kiss. This kiss is a marketing principle. And I first heard about it in master class. The letters in kiss stand for keep it simple and stupid. And the principle states that simplicity should be a key goal in our works. And unnecessary complexity should be avoided. Although I learned KISS as a marketing principle, I used it many years ago without knowing it. it now I will tell you that story. It was 12 years ago. I was a university student. <coughs> and university's photography club was somewhere I used to go, more than my economics classes. I was so passionate about photography, so much that I was seeing everything in a photo frame. My camera was my favorite accessory. And the sound of shutter release button of a camera was one of my favorite sounds in the world. As the photography club, every Sunday morning we were going to one part of Istanbul to take photos. And one Sunday, our destination was Lidikule. Very nice place to be, but unlike other destinations, I did not find the place rich photography-wise. I wandered there around 10 minutes looking for something to shoot but I could not see any single frame worth shooting. I was disappointed, because I was so eager to make good shots. Furthermore, as the university's photography club, we were preparing for a reputable photo exhibition. And it would be nice for me to contribute to the exhibition with one of my photos. But in Yedikule, it seemed impossible to me not only to take a potentially good shot for the exhibition, but also to take a just okay photo. So I gave up and decided to wait for my friends to finish shooting. I sat under a tree, put my camera by my side, and after some time I was bored and started to lean backwards on my elbows, just looking upwards. It was then I noticed the tree I was sitting under was huge and beautiful. I felt wow, and I wanted to look at the tree also from the viewfinder of my camera. In order to dramatize the majesty of the tree, I put my zoom lens to the widest angle, and the view became more dramatic. Also, I laid down on my back completely, and the tree became even more huge. From that point, I took a couple of shots, putting both the roots and the branches of the giant tree into my vertical photo frame. Walls of ridicule dungeons could also be seen through the branches. By the way, let me remind you again, it was 12 years ago, and those were the days before digital age. Which means, I was using an analog camera, and there was a black and white film in my camera. So not until the time I processed the film in the dark room, was I able to see the photo. But I was feeling happy because at least I had found one frame worth shooting, and I had done that from the place I was sitting. Actually, the place I was lying. 
So what does that story have to do with KISS? It was years before I learned the principle KISS, but I used it unintentionally by just not forcing myself to capture an interesting snapshot. Instead, I took a photo of an ordinary tree, which was beautiful by nature. In other words, I kept it simple, stupid. By the way, if you wonder the end of the story, it is a heavy ending. When I processed the film in the dark room, I was delighted to see that it was a good shot, a really, really good shot. When I showed it to the veterans of the photography club, they said this photo should absolutely be in the exhibition. And it was in the exhibition as the only photo taken in the media. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, new guests, the principal kiss says, keep it simple, stupid. So whatever you do, I urge you to kiss. No need to force it so much. Just enjoy the way it is. Avoid unnecessary complexity and keep it stupidly simple. In your work life, keep it simple stupid. When you seek a solution for a problem, keep it simple stupid. When you write a speech for a Toastmasters project, keep it simple stupid. And finally, when you kiss your love, never mind those French guys, just keep it simple stupid. <laughs> <laughs>